Welcome to Jay's Honest Reviews. Today, it's just gonna be a quick unboxing video for the Weed People Hybrid Free Coaster. Um, I've had this for a couple of days in my bag, so we're gonna take it out the box and uh, just give you a little run through of what's in the box and some of the uh, information on the box and yeah, just see, see what we've got. Let's have a look. So I've got the box. We the people bike company hub. Uh, we the people hybrid rear uh, free mm. coaster cassette hub. Nine tooth. Uh, Fourteen mil regular axle. Thirty six mm. hole includes driver and non driver uh, nylon hub guards in black. Mm. Okay, so this is in the box. Open the box. Instantly we got two hub guards. The rear hub guard. Mm. Pretty solid. Um, probably won't be using those. And then front hub guard, which I might use just to stop me hitting my fingers on the the hubs when I do front wheel, tri uh, back wheel tricks. I always seem to catch my fingers on the spokes. So you may have seen me ride with a, a G Sport gland on the front before. But learning something new, I always stick my fingers on the spokes and stuff like that. So they, that that might help me. And I think they fit most most hubs as well so that'd be good to try um we've got the paws and the springs for a you know, for when you turn it into a cassette uh, i've heard the sound of the cassette this cassette's really nice sounding as well it's n n nice and noisy for those guys that like a noisy hub um so if i ever need to sell this in the future to somebody else i can just change it back to a cassette yeah if they're not into free coasters uh, and next we have the hub which is very nice it's got a nice weight to it it's not overly heavy it's not it's not massively that light either but i guess you can't really feel the weight difference until you have another hub in your hand but feels decent, doesn't feel too heavy, feels nice, feels, feels sturdy, feels, uh, feels solid man. 70mm um, bolts, it's hollow, you'll see that, it's a hollow axle, which is nice. Um, bearings are very smooth. Yeah, listen to that, that's what you want. Free coaster mode. This one's nice. No engagement there. Engage. Yeah. Roll. Okay, feels good. 17 mil bolts on there. I've actually got some uh, titanium bolts, which I'll fit. I might fit them now in a minute. Um. So this hub. You can get at your local bike store, as long as they're decent. Uh, if they've got weeder people bikes, they should be able to get this hub. Uh, if they haven't, tell them to get an account with More and Large, UK distribution for weeder people, and then tell them to get this in. Retails at £130 at the moment, last time I saw it. So um, tell them to get it in stock and uh, get coasting. I'm loving that engagement. Uh, I'm gonna put my um, titanium bolts on while we're here. And these are from TLC. 17 mil again. And then there you have it. Yeah, first impressions. Looks real nice. 130 pounds, can't really knock the price. Um, decent weight, looks good, all the logos are nice. The etching's real good. The finish is real nice. Um, you've got the step down for the flanges, that's to save extra weight. Um, I think this weighs about 480 grams, if I'm right. Um, and uh, please remember, when uh, companies, a lot of companies wear their hubs, whether they be front or back, they weigh them without the bolts. Okay, uh, and then you can get your own bolts, you know, 
you decide the weight that you want it to be. But um, yeah, 130 pounds. Well, um, stay tuned because I'm going to lace this up to a pair of carbon rims, not the clap ones, but a different brand, and, and with tie spokes. So stay, uh, keep the notifications on. And when I build those, you can be the first to get a review. So this is just an unboxing video for now. Um, stay tuned for the test when I get it built up in the next couple of days. All right. Thank you very much. Like, sub, and I'll see you soon.